Brian Christensen uh, here at a public library today. This customer recently remodeled this location and put in a, a pedestrian handicap ramp and uh, needed to incorporate access control into the, the door with remote access. So the, the controller is on the far end of this building through an auditorium. We're in the basement of this building and it's on the other side of the building. I had my doubts when we first started this, not knowing whether it would work given the distance, given the material that we had to go through. I took my evaluation kit, a Surevi evaluation kit, and were able to get two solid bars. So I was actually really surprised. When I did the actual install, we're getting three steady signal bars. So it, it far exceeded my expectations. We went with the commercial door controller on this because of the power requirements. So we were powering a Von Duprin bar, which needed 24 volts to do that. So we went the commercial door controller and it, uh, we have it tied into an intercom system for remote from a remote release, uh, request exit, as well as the normal uh, key card integration. So Wiring, crash bars and keypad with commercial door kit. Remove the flash hider. We then measure for our power to come in between the standoff plate and our flash cover. Then fasten the NC with a nut. Now we connect the wires to the Wago connectors. Now we replace the flash cover. Next, the control wire. Red for power. This goes into the terminal block labeled VBUS. Black for ground. Green for our data zero. Our white for D1. And yellow. Now we are going to wire in our powered crash bars. I'm just going to put a jumper in between our negative side. And then I'm going to come over into uh, R1, normally open. And then I'm gonna take uh, the uh, ground from my powered crash bars and I'm gonna put into R1 common, the one labeled R1C. The uh, positive side of the crash bars. These terminals are hooked together, so it doesn't matter which positive side you go to. We just need a 24 volts positive here. and uh, that will power the crash bars when relay one is triggered. Long story short, we didn't pull any wire. We were able to tap into existing one, 120 power. Just eliminated a lot of uh, running around and building together on my end. And um, it was a great install, it worked great. Win the bid with Surefy. For technical and install support, call us at 844-787-3340.